Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app Greenify. Right before I get to that, I do want to remind you that this review is sponsored by AntiTags.com, which is a really cool website to get all kinds of information about NFC, NFC apps, and pick up some really cool NFC tags, stickers, and keychains for use with your Android phone. So head over to AntiTags.com after the review and check those out. So Greenify. Now this is kind of an odd review for me because I don't often review apps that are root only apps. Um, I've reviewed apps that you know you can use without root and they have additional functionality with root. But Greenify is a root app um, and you have to have root in order to use it. But it's an awesome, awesome app. One of my favorite root apps I have. So I thought it was important to review it um, because it can really benefit you. And basically it allows you to uh, keep apps from wasting your RAM in the background, but at the same time be able to open them and use them whenever you want. So let's hop on my phone so I can show you how it works and explain it to you a little bit better. Well, here we are on my phone and there you see the app Greenify. So go to my home screen and uh, we'll open it up. It's the green little leaf and this is Greenify. Now basically what Greenify does, it allows you to hibernate, and this is hibernate, hibernated, hibernate apps. So these are all apps that if they were not hibernated, might likely be doing something in the background on my phone. Some of them periodically, some of them like Facebook for example. If you have Facebook on your phone, look at the RAM. Facebook is constantly using tons of RAM, even when you're not using Facebook. Um, and even if you have notifications turned off, it's still always using, it uses a lot. But even apps like, for example, Cut the Rope Experiments, which is a game. If I'm not playing that game, why does it need to be doing anything on my phone? I don't know, but it was. Um, and other apps like Gesture Search, um, Redbox, Scout, Songza, uh, these are apps, Weatherbug, these are apps that I use. These are apps that I want to be able to use, but I just didn't want them. They had some service on them that was running in the background, which uh, uses RAM and can affect battery. None of these greatly affected my battery, mostly just RAM availability. And they're all hibernated. Uh, basically, on Greenify, if you click the plus button, It'll show you apps that are currently running in the background so that you can select from those. It'll show you scheduled running. So these are apps that have been scheduled running since the last startup. Other apps that may slow down the device when something happens. So these are apps that when something happens on your phone, it activates them or causes them to do something. Uh, now, of course, many of these you don't want to hibernate. You want them to be able to do the things they do in the background. It's important to you. And these are recently running apps. But there are others, like the ones that are on my list, that you don't want to. So by adding them to Greenify, Greenify hibernates them. Now, the significance of this, a lot of people might say, okay, well, if I have um, JRummy Toolbox uh, or an app like that, I can freeze an app. But when you freeze an app, even though the app is on your phone, it's as if it wasn't. It's not usable. You have to, you'd have to go in and unfreeze it to use it. This doesn't freeze the app. I'm going to use an example right now. App Cells is hibernated. But if we go to my home screen and I go over to App Cells, I actually have App Cells on my main home page because it's an app I want to be able to open and use. When I click it, it opens. It loads just like normal. So hibernating it has no effect on the ability to use the app. It simply keeps it from constantly running in the background and using RAM when I'm not using it, when it's not open. Go back to Greenify over here. And let's see, find another example. Uh, Scout is a great example. I reviewed Scout. Scout's a great app uh, for navigation. Uh, I just didn't like that they, it seemed to run when I didn't want it to run, uh, sometimes pulling my GPS, 
and I wasn't even using it, so there was no need for it to be running and doing that. So I added it to Greenify, so Greenify is automatically hibernating it. But if I want to use it, if I want to open it up, if I click any of the scout buttons, then it's immediately going to open up the app, just like normal. So it has no effect on the ability to open and use an app. It simply hibernates it. It keeps it from using uh, resources in the background when I'm not using the app, such as right now. So let's get out of here. Takes a minute to back out of Scout. Uh, and go back to Greenify. So here inside of Greenify, you can see, because I opened these things, uh, they're now pending. Um, or if anything opens them because it needs to be used, it'll be pending. But Greenify will automatically uh, hibernate them for me. Or if I click on it and then click the Z or sleep button, then I can hibernate it myself. But even if I didn't do that, Greenify will eventually and automatically hibernate it for me. Um, if you click the menu button, you can disable auto hibernation. Uh, there's no reason not to do that really. Because uh, the auto hibernation is really what makes it so awesome. Uh, the ability to automatically hibernate anything you want to, anytime you want to. So if you click the plus button, just want to show you one other thing real quick. Um, let's see, go down something I don't really use. Let's go G Cloud. So if I wanted to hibernate G Cloud, I would press it and it tells you right, shows you right there. Never greenify the alarm clock, instant messaging, and widget enabled apps unless you don't rely on them. Obviously, if you greenify something that is a widget, most widgets are, need to be able to constantly update or something. Uh, so if you hibernate it, then it can't do that. Your widget's not going to work. You're going to get upset. But how can your widget work if it, the app it's associated with is hibernated? So just something to always know. So I'm going to click OK. And it immediately greenifies the app. And you saw the greenify has been granted super user permission. Obviously, you have to have super user. You have to be rooted in order to use this. And uh, gcloud is now added to this list. So anyway, um, that's pretty much what it does. It's very simple, but it works great. Uh, let's go back to my home screen real quick, just so I can show you. I want to show you my RAM. Um, you can see I have, right now, 1.2 gigs are being used, 338 free. Uh, without Grinify, that would probably be, I don't know, it would be significantly less because a lot of those apps that have Grinified would be running in the background. For example, ESPN College Football uh, has one process and one service running right now. It's using 8 megabytes of RAM. Now, am I using that app right now? No, I'm not using it at all. Um, but it's running in the background because I have it set to give me notifications and things. So I don't mind, and it's only using 8. But Facebook, it, it woke up, and because it woke up, it's using 38. And that's actually on the low side. A lot of times when Facebook is running, it'll be using upwards of 70, 75, even 100. So it uses a lot. And I don't want it to be using that much. It uses so much RAM, I don't want it to be running. So Greenify helps with that. And that's basically what Greenify does. And uh, why I have it on my phone and why if you are rooted, I recommend you use it, put it, get it. And if you're not rooted, might be a good reason to do it. That was Greenify. See what I told you? Very cool. And if you don't have root and you just watch this, then now you're going to want to have root. Because it allows you to keep these apps so that you can use them anytime you want to. But without them constantly and always uh, using and wasting RAM on your phone. Um, I wish more apps had a built-in way to do that themselves, but they don't. So when you have an app like Greenify, you can make it happen. Anyway, that's it for this review. Please click the like button if you like this review. If you have friends who would benefit from having this app, then share it with them on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Reddit, all those other ways down there. And uh, feel free to leave comments or ask questions if you have any. I'll do my best to reply. And subscribe to my channel. Check out my other playlist, all kinds of Android app reviews, Tasker how-to videos, NFC how-to videos, etc., etc. Anyway, that is it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.